Hello everybody, let's cover a quick update on the second stimulus checks and the second stimulus package. Bernie Sanders said he'll force a government shutdown if stimulus checks are not approved this week. Bernie continues to fight for $1,200 stimulus checks, $2,400 for a couple, and $3,400 checks for a family of four. Let's discuss what's happening and if he'll keep his word. We're also going to cover unemployment, stimulus for those on Social Security, and a quick update on front page news as well. Do you think Congress should stop getting paychecks until they approve stimulus checks? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Andrew and thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Don't forget to like this video if you like this content and subscribe. I'll be posting updates almost daily. Okay, we're going to discuss stimulus checks in just two minutes, but first we're going to cover a quick update on front page news. I'd also like to thank my sponsor Weeble. In a time when we all need the money more than ever, they've partnered with me to provide free stocks for my viewers, valued up to $1,600. It's completely free and takes two minutes. All you need to do is open an account using my link. The link is in the description of this video just below the like button. You can sell the stocks immediately or save them. Just make sure to complete the process fully to get your free stocks. There are two steps. First, sign up and secondly, open your account. You won't get the free stocks if you don't completely open your account. Okay, let's jump into a quick overview of front page news and then we'll get right into stimulus. And as always, I try to be unbiased on this channel, so I'm going to show you what both CNN and Fox News are saying. Front page CNN. Russia pretty clearly behind data breach. As most of you know, Russia has hacked our government's information and CNN is slamming Trump for not being aware of this and insinuating that Biden would have done a better job of protecting our country. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with CNN? They are also slamming Fox News and specifically Tucker Carlson for quote unquote spreading misinformation about the vaccine. Now, Tucker Carlson has been a strong opponents of this vaccine telling people to be skeptical skeptical of its safety and even potentially skeptical that it might include a microchip but guys let me know your thoughts in the comments cnn is saying this is grossly irresponsible and even went to the point of saying that fox is not a news channel that they are spreading misinformation and a parallel reality just telling people what they want to hear essentially accusing Fox News of pandering to those who already don't like the vaccine, but not spreading actual information. CNN basically is encouraging you to get the vaccine. They've had videos of Vice President Pence getting the vaccine, as well as other top officials who are getting the vaccine to encourage you to do so as well. But let me know in the comments, will you get the vaccine as soon as it's available, or are you skeptical regarding its safety? Okay, let's cover front page Fox News, and then we'll get right into stimulus. Donald Trump says there will be large protests in D.C. on January 6th. January 6th is the day when Congress has to acknowledge the fact that Joe Biden won this presidency and Trump is expecting large protests against this, guys. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with Trump and think there should be protests? As far as vaccine news, the U.K. is poised for more lockdowns and they have discovered a different strain of the illness which could further complicate this pandemic. Guys, if this virus mutates, it will be a lot difficult to control it, and we could end up in a situation where we need a different vaccine every year, similar to the flu shot, which would mean we would not completely eradicate this illness, but we would have to live with it and just try and control it, similar to the flu virus. Fox News is also reporting that some hospitals in Illinois have stopped giving the vaccination after four workers had severe allergic reactions. This is really bad news, guys, and this is concerning because despite the fact that clinical trials showed the vaccine to be really safe, there have been dozens of people who have reported severe allergic reactions from these vaccines. These workers had severe allergic reactions, including a rapid heart rate, trouble breathing, skin rash, and redness. Most of them were hospitalized. The majority of them have been released, but one of them is still in serious condition. Of course, guys, this is very, very troubling. And this is just in phase one. When millions of people begin to get this vaccine, we could see even more allergic reactions occur. This is not to say you shouldn't get the vaccine, but experts are saying that if you do, you should remain in the facility for a short period of time to make sure you don't have an allergic reaction. But with that being said, guys, we will have updates on the safety of this vaccine as more and more people actually get this vaccine. But okay, let's jump right into stimulus, where things stand with the stimulus checks. And Bernie Sanders saying that if we don't have stimulus checks, 
he will force a shutdown. But first, let's recap what is expected to be in this bill. We still don't have a written outline, but this is what is expected to be included. A $300 per week unemployment boost, $600 stimulus checks, unless Bernie Sanders can convince them to include $1,200 stimulus checks, an extension of the eviction freeze, an extension of the student loan payment freeze, money for rental assistance, as well as money for small businesses. And this is all with the backdrop of Biden saying he will approve a larger stimulus package next year, which would include $200 per month for those on Social Security. This would add up to $2,400 for those on Social Security for the entire year of 2021. More stimulus checks, of course. Biden has promised to include, to include larger stimulus checks in this next package, as well as student loan for forgiveness. Biden wants to include a $10,000 student loan forgiveness for everyone who has student loans. But this is what we're fighting for. And Bernie Sanders has said he will not leave D.C. until we have stimulus checks approved. But what happened this weekend and what is expected to happen in the next few days? Well, guys, let me know if you like Bernie Sanders. Whether or not you like him in general, I think we could all agree that we like the fact that he is fighting for the people to have stimulus checks. Now, he is just one man. He cannot have stimulus checks approved on his own. And I think he needs other senators to back him as well. He is trying to start a movement of senators that will back him up and say, hey, you know what? We will also force a shutdown unless we approve stimulus checks. If he is the only one fighting, and of course, we have John Hawley as well. But if there's only two senators fighting for this, it's honestly, it's not going to happen. So as of now, we're disappointed. We haven't had a large number of senators back Bernie Sanders up. And last night, Bernie Sanders was put to the test. Would he force a government shutdown or allow an extension of the government spending bill? Well, to be quite honest with you, Bernie Sanders folded and he allowed a two-day extension, which he originally said he would not accept. So he folded on that front. So that's not a good look, and it seems to put into question whether or not he will stick to his word and force a government shutdown Sunday night unless they include stimulus checks, guys. Now, again, personally, I'm not slamming Bernie Sanders. It's very hard for one or two people to stand up against the entire Congress to force a government shutdown. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you even think it's okay to force a government shutdown just to get stimulus checks? Or do you think a government shutdown should be off limits? Of course, we're in the middle of a pandemic. We're in the middle of trying to distribute this vaccine. And a government shutdown would not help, guys. That is the last thing we need. But Mitch McConnell himself has said that he will not leave and the Senate will not leave until this stimulus package is approved. So we have to hold him to his word and we have to hold Bernie Sanders to his word as well because they have all promised to pass stimulus before they leave Washington, D.C. Christmas Eve is less than a week away. These government officials want to go home. And you know what? We're at a point where either they're going to approve stimulus checks or quite frankly, they're going to have lied to us. They're going to leave D.C. anyways without having stimulus approved. But what exactly is going on with negotiations and why have we not had stimulus approved? This week we had reports that we were closer than ever to having a second stimulus check approved. And top congressmen from both sides, Democrats and Republicans, said, hey, we are on the one yard line and we will have a deal in the next couple of days. Of course, we hit more roadblocks. But what exactly are those roadblocks and what needs to happen to get these checks approved? Well, for one, the details are always difficult. Republicans want to lower the unemployment boost to 10 weeks. They also want to exclude a double dip, which means if you get unemployment, you cannot get stimulus checks. Guys, of course, that is completely ridiculous because those on unemployment are those who need the help the most. So I have no issue with someone getting unemployment and getting the stimulus checks. Not only that, they also want to fade out these payments. Essentially, you would get, this is just an example, $300 a week in a boost for the first four weeks. Then the next four weeks would give you 200 and then the next two weeks would give you 100 phasing out those payments. And it's it's been reported that Democrats are against this. They do not want to phase out these payments. Not only that, but Republicans want to limit Joe Biden's power to pass a massive stimulus next year. Now, they want to do this by limiting the power of the Fed to create credit and create more loans for state and local governments. Now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you OK with this? Now, Republicans are saying, you know what, we are doing this to try and prevent the country from going into deeper debt. But Democrats are saying, you know what, you're trying to stop us from approving a massive stimulus package next year. 
So here's the thing. Democrats want to approve a package now, and they are willing to approve a smaller package, but they don't want to do that and sacrifice a larger package next year. Pelosi is saying, hey, we'll pass a smaller package now. We're willing to compromise and spend less, but you're not going to stop us from passing a larger package next year. And of course, Biden wants to include stimulus checks. He wants to include a monthly boost for those on Social Security. So Biden has big plans to boost the economy next year, and he does not want to be hindered by these Republicans who want to stop him from being able to create more lending through the Fed, guys. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. We will have updates daily, and the government could shut down tomorrow night unless a package is approved. So we should have really big updates this weekend. Now, as far as unemployment... Even if a package is approved this weekend, you will have a gap in your coverage, guys. So plan accordingly. Save as much money as you can. I know that's difficult right now, but do what you can. Call your bank. Call your lenders. If you have a car payment, if you have a landlord, tell them, hey, I might be a couple weeks behind on my payments, but I should be able to pay you as soon as this unemployment boost is approved. It is expected that even if a package is approved this week, you'll have a gap in coverage of about two weeks. Now, what is not clear is whether or not you would get back pay. Of course, Democrats are fighting for this back pay, but it's not sure if it would happen. Your payments might start on January 1st, or they might go retro retroactive to the last week of December. Guys, but with that being said, we will have updates daily. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you made it this far into my video, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really means the world to me, and I really do appreciate every single view. My thoughts go out to each and every one of you during this hardship. I've had so many comments from people who truly deserve the help. And if you're watching this video, you're probably going through a difficult season in your life. Just know that you will get through this and you will be in a better place. Stay strong out there and keep taking steps towards a better tomorrow. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.